Kyle, welcome to Celtic. It's been a few days now, but if we go back sort of a week or so, how did the move come about and what are your sort of thoughts? Um, well, I had a meeting before, obviously, my decision at Morecambe. And it came around with me knowing Andrew, the club secretary. And then um, after that, obviously, he got in touch with me saying that the gaffer wants you. So I had a meeting with the gaffer. And then once I waited for my decision at Morecambe, it was a no-brainer, really. It's 20 minutes down the road, so, yeah, quite local. I was going to say, are you from sort of the local area then? Yeah, I'm only like 20 minutes down the road, so it's not too bad. Did you have sort of other options and sort of just so what was it about Celtic that sort of appealed to you? Uh, I had a few other options, yeah, but I feel like obviously the gaffers played in my role. I think it's similar to like, obviously what I can achieve and develop as a player. Obviously, although you've been at Morgan the last few years, you spent sort of a few years out on loan at sort of different clubs in the Northern Premier League. Has that been sort of good for you? I suppose you've got experience of playing in this league already. Yeah, no, obviously I'm no stranger to the league. Obviously I've been Witten, obviously FC, and then, uh, yeah. So I know what the standard is like, but I just want to, you know, be playing week in, week out. So I feel like if I can do that, then it'll be really good for me and help me develop as a player. And what about sort of the experience of playing professionally at Morecambe? Has that sort of helped you over the last few years sort of develop as a player? Yeah, yeah obviously I made a debut quite a young age. So from then, you know, I've known what it's like to play at that standard like week in, week out. So, yeah. And sort of especially with sort of coronavirus and sort of a lot of football's been up in the air. Was it hard for you sort of not knowing really where you, where you, if you're going to be at Morecambe or if you're going to be yeah. where you're going to be? Yeah, it was really frustrating because obviously what happened, like it just kept, it just got dragged on because no one knew if the season was going to be carried on or cancelled or whatever. So everyone was just like playing the waiting game, really. So no one really knew. Uh, how have you sort of been coping during lockdown? Have you been sort of keeping fit and making sure that you're ready just in case you know we're back to training or we're back to a season start? Yeah, so when we was waiting for the season to be finished, we got obviously a programme, so we just followed that programme. Kept us ticking over, so yeah, keeping fit. And sort of in terms of your style of play, the gaffers obviously described you as sort of a, a physical presence up top. Is that sort of how you describe your style as a sort of a target man? Yeah, yeah, definitely target man, obviously. Back to goal type of player. But I, I can get in behind as well, you know, I'm quite versatile, so quite mobile, so I can get in behind as well, but mainly, yeah, back to goal type of player. Do you think that you're sort of suited to the league? I mean, some of the teams that we sort of come across are very sort of physical and sort of getting your face. Is that something that you think you'll be able to sort of have as an advantage, sort of a physical presence? Yeah, yeah, I think I can relish that, yeah, obviously. I'm not a stranger to coming up against big defenders, you know, I think me and my back to goal type of player is like very strong for me because I feel like I'm really confident in that area, so it'll be no problem. I'm sure I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you think there's a, a big difference between sort of academy football and in and the non-league football? I'd say yeah. With obviously, it's just different like styles of play. Really, like League Two is very very physical, so it's quite similar to obviously this league we're in now. So yeah, it's very very similar. In terms of being a new player, I think you might have seen over the last few weeks the club have signed quite a lot of sort of players of a similar similar age to yourself. Is that sort of pleasing to see the club sort of signing younger players and knowing there's going to be opportunities? Yeah, I feel like that'll happen with loads of other clubs because obviously loads of kids are getting like released and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to see a lot of young lads. I feel now. So yeah, it's, it's exciting actually. I'm really looking forward to it. You know, all the enthusiasm and everything like that is very good. So yeah. Looking so forward how, to it. How has training been? Have you have you had a couple of sessions and sort of met some of the some of the lads? Yeah, I've had about uh, three sessions now. Obviously, pre seasons, it's never nice, is it? But yeah, we're starting to get on the balls and stuff now. So it's um, yeah, just excited to be playing. Really, how has it been meeting meeting the rest of the squad? Have they sort of integrated well? I know it's only been a few sessions, but yeah, yes, it's only been a few sessions. But I feel like. Obviously, all the lads want each other to do well. Like everyone's encouraged each other in the sessions and stuff like that. So, yeah, no, it's very good. I think we're gelling well. And have you had thoughts about sort of next season and where 
where you know where you, you'd wish the club to finish? Is it just about finishing sort of in the playoffs yeah. as high as possible? Yeah, as high as possible. I feel like playoffs is playoffs is a good target. You know, we're a young squad, like we're all eager to do well. So yeah, I think playoffs is a very, very good target for us, yeah. And just one final question. I take it without football you've been missing it. Are you just excited and sort of ready to go? Yeah, honestly, I was like I say, I just want uh, the pre season friendlies now, so I'm just waiting on that really, you know. I can't wait to be in like a it's just been too long of everything what's happened, you know, COVID nineteen. It's just been too long. 